In this video, we explain how to set up a MathGrid OMR region. MathGrids are used on assessments where respondents answer math questions by filling in bubbles that correspond to the digits or symbols in their answers. For example, if a student's answer were 1 half, the student might bubble in three different bubbles. The first bubble containing the digit 1, the second bubble containing the fraction slash, and the third bubble containing the digit 2. With a grid region, the data center would treat the three individual bubbles as one piece of data and display the answer one half in the spreadsheet. To create a MathGrid OMR region, go up to the toolbar and select the Insert OMR Region icon. Move the crosshair to the top left hand corner of the bubble region, left mouse click and drag your cursor to the bottom right hand corner of the bubble region. Now we're going to set our properties under the OMR Region Definition tab. Type in the name of your question as you want it to appear in the Data Center Spreadsheet. Under OMR Type, select Grid. Depending on the values in your bubbles, you'll select either Textual or Numeric from the Data Type drop-down menu. Since we are including the negative sign, fraction slash, and decimal point, in addition to numbers, we will choose Textual for this question. Under Region Layout, choose Column Orientation because each digit or symbol in our answer will occupy a single column. Under Labels, enter the digits and symbols contained in each of your bubbles in the order in which they appear. If we were only using bubbles that contained numbers, we could also select a preset number scale. We could also save our current labels to use on the other questions of this quiz. Define format is not really needed for math grade questions. It is intended for data that must have a specific pattern or format. For example, you might want a date formatted with a specific pattern of numbers and forward slashes. Now we're going to go under the Advanced Region Properties tab. Make sure that you have selected Grade This Item. Under Testing Point System, you can specify how you want to award points for your questions. Under Blank Response Exceptions, one feature you might want to be aware of is the Flag Grid Blanks feature. Flag Grid Blanks is used to specify how you want the software to handle blanks included in grid regions when processing completed quizzes in the data center. By default, the software will always flag blanks that appear in a grid region when they are read into the data center. However, depending on how you want to collect data from your grid, you may want to ignore leading and or trailing blank spaces. For example, if you have an answer to a question like one half that does not require all four column places provided, you can set this to ignore blanks before and or after the students filled in bubbles. I'm going to select ignore trailing to demonstrate. Press OK when you are ready to apply the changes. Now we have a math grid region for our first question. At this point you can proceed to set up the other OMR regions just as you did the first one. However, in our case, since the other questions on the quiz have a similar layout to the first, we can simply copy and paste the region that we just created to set up the OMR regions for the 2nd through 10th question. To copy and paste, make sure that you've selected the question region, then go up to Edit, click on Copy, go back up to Edit, click on Paste, then drag the newly created region over the bubbles for the second question. Then make sure to go into each question individually to edit them by double clicking on the region, Make sure to change the region name and any labels or other relevant properties to that question. Then click on OK. I have filled out the rest of the grid regions on our template. Over in the data center, I had the software read in a completed sample of this quiz. Notice how the software read the individual filled in bubbles as one piece of data, one half. Also, recall that when I created this question, I set it to ignore trailing blanks, so the software did not flag the blank in the data center spreadsheet. Question 6 also had a trailing blank, but here I did not set it to ignore the blank as I should have, 
so the software flagged it in yellow. That concludes our tutorial on setting up math grade questions.